Hi, and congratulations on purchasing your Ryobi 36 volt lawnmower. In this video, I'm gonna show you the simple steps to set your lawnmower up and get you mowing in no time. Plus, I'll provide you with a few tips to ensure you get the most out of your mower. So let's get started by checking that everything is out of the box. The first thing we have is the fully assembled catcher, the lawnmower itself, the safety key, the assembly hardware, the all important owner's manual, and if you bought the kit version, you'll have a battery and charger. Now, before we assemble the mower, let's plug in the charger and start charging the battery. Once inserted, you will see the charger's green light flash to indicate charging has commenced. You will also notice the level of charge here on the battery's fuel gauge. When the battery is charged, the green light on the charger will remain steady and the battery's fuel gauge will have all four LEDs off. Now let's get started assembling the mower. The mower is pretty much pre-assembled, with the exception of attaching the handles to the deck, which can be a little tricky at times, especially if you're on your own. The first thing to do is to position your mower against something solid like a wall, or in my case, a workbench. Position the box on its side behind the mower and rest the handles on it. Working overhead will make this job a lot easier. Holding the lower sections of the handle, position the locking pins into the lower holes. With the bolt and washer in one hand, carefully pull the handle out and lift until you can push the bolt through, then fit the washer. Now tilt the handle slowly back until the bolt locates the hole in the bracket. Supporting the weight of the handle with one hand, turn the bolt clockwise to tighten. At this stage, hand tight is enough. If you find the bolt only screws in a short way, it may be cross-threaded. So just loosen it and start again. Now repeat the same process on the other side. Using the supplied torque wrench, firmly tighten the bolt on each side. Once the handle is assembled, the next step is to extend the top section all the way until you see the lines on each side. It's very important to ensure you lock the handle off with these lines showing. Otherwise, a safety feature will prevent the mower from running. The mower has two angle settings, which will raise and lower the handles. To adjust the angle of the handle, simply pull and twist the spring-loaded pin locks on either side, which allows the handle to move up and down. Adjust the handle to the desired position and twist the pin locks again the other way to lock the handles into place. Now we're ready for the last step, which is to fit the catcher. Holding the flap up with one hand, position the catcher with the other until these two green hooks line up with the grooves on the back of the mower. Lower the flap and we're ready to get mowing. So let's head on outside and I'll show you how to adjust the mower height. Adjusting your mower height is nice and easy. Down here by the side, we've got a handle that we can adjust the cutting height into five different positions. If you've been mowing your lawn regularly, position three or four is a good place to start. Okay, so we are finally ready to start our mower and the first step is to insert our charge battery. We can check its level of charge anytime by pressing this button on the front of the fuel gauge. Next is to insert this safety key, which allows you to control who can operate the mower as without it, the mower won't run. If this isn't an issue, then you can leave the red safety key in place. For safety, the mower requires you to use both hands. Firstly, hold down the center button and pull back on the left or right handle. Once the mower is started, you can release the centre button. For more information, go to ryobi.com.au or to learn more tips and tricks and how-to videos, check out our YouTube channel. Ryobi, a cut above.